This video is about what we call operations on functions and how the notation for those operations look. It's actually a pretty simple idea. If you have any two functions, say the two we have here are f of x and g of x, a quadratic and a linear, you can combine them in lots of different ways. Uh, and we just need to learn the notation, what it looks like. So for example, um, this notation here, f plus g of x, means for any x value, we will, for any input we want to put into that new combination function, we will plug that input into f, we will plug that input into g, and then we'll add them together. Addition is an example of one of the basic operations that we do all the time. So adding them together is just like adding anything else. What we would do is write x squared minus 3x plus 1 plus 4x plus 5, and that's how we add two functions together. We can then combine like terms. There are, um, it's only 1x squared, but negative 3x plus x can be combined together, and 1 plus 5 can be combined together. And that's it. So the way we would answer our question in the end is we would say f plus g of x is equal to x squared plus x plus 6. And that's the final answer. Writing it out that way is important too. We can do other things like throw some multiplication in there. f minus 2g of x. It's going to go 3 there. Well, that would take our x sorry, our f of x, x squared minus 3x plus 1, and subtract 2 times g of x. Again, it kind of is exactly what it looks like it should be. In this case, we would need to distribute that negative 2 first, and then we can combine like terms again. And again, remember, since the question asked us for this combination of functions, f minus 2 times g of x. We just want to make sure we write that as part of our answer too. And then one additional thing here with operations is that sometimes the operation that we're doing differently is plugging in a different function into f. So what this means is we're going to f of x minus 5 means we're going to take x minus 5 and we're going to plug it in to f. We're going to take x minus 5 and plug it in every time we see an x in the f function. We're going to replace that by x minus 5. So f of x minus 5 is equal to, instead of x squared, which is what f, the function called f starts with, it'll be x minus 5 squared. We're taking this x minus 5 and plugging it in. Minus 3 times x minus 5 plus 1. And then we're left with a somewhat tedious bit of calculating to do, foiling out, distributing, combining like terms. You just have to get through it. x squared minus 10x plus 25. We can distribute the 3 negative 3x plus 15. Please be mindful of double negatives. They're sneaky, but they're there a lot. And then we'll combine whatever like terms we can. The negative 10x minus 3x can be combined. And 25 plus 15 plus 1 can be combined. And so our final answer, again, should make sure to have the notation that we started with. And that's really all there is to it for these operations on functions. That means adding fractions to get functions together. Could also be subtracting or multiplying. We could do dividing too, but that gets complicated. We'll talk more about that next unit. And we also now understand this idea of plugging um, an expression into a function. And we're going to build on that in our next video.